Hello, good morning. Today is 2022, August 12, Friday. Today, I wish to demonstrate a very simple uh, Perl, uh, Perl Python. I have I've already uh, used Python more than Perl. And uh, I will say Python codes on uh, how to um, know the time elapsed in seconds. Okay. That is uh, just a few lines. I just run it. So the time is in seconds. Oh, yeah, it's five seconds. It takes some time to count because I set five here. So you get a five point something. I think it's uh, well enough to use it in the other code. What I developed is not developed. I think it's just, uh, just take a few minutes to write the code and uh, because I need to, to write an app on the iPhone and Android that would do involving the time the uh, a timer that I think this code would work so I just want to share it you know to to make me more uh, aware of this method in order to find out how many seconds when I press the button and I suppose to demonstrate again I don't use five and that uh, times I take a little bit longer ten seconds so you have to wait. Now, wait for certain time, right? 10 seconds. See the result all the time, 10 seconds. Yes. So I think this could work. Now I will analyze line by line. First, you have to import two modules. One a daytime, the other time. And uh, I get a start time. You can print the start time. And then the I highlight this now. I got a uh, again the truth the the beauty of Emacs because you know for the basic mo uh, basic uh, plugin you can have uh, uh, common out common out it like this to alternate the uh, semicolon to get a common out but I don't like it but I, so I want uh, this one better a block and common then how can I do it? I wrote myself the list code. I'm gonna highlight it. And my way is to add that alternate to it. Then immediately I get a code like that. Okay. Now look much better. Okay, then I run this. See whether it works. Of course it works. Then you print it the start time. And then I set a new, uh, set a, now this time I set only three seconds maybe that's just easier to demonstrate and get an end time. Okay, then I move this here. Okay, the end time and then I print the end time, see whether it works. Just uh, like a quality control, I have to make sure every line works at front. Yes, it means after three seconds, they get a second time. Then how to know the second between, then highlight the, I the printing. Oh yeah, I retain the printing. And then I move the next line, the duration is this one of that. But if you don't do anything more, what you will do? What, what, what do you get? You get a start time, end time, and you get something like this. It's a string. Not a string, actually a kind of object. So we cannot use it directly in my app or in other applications that you would uh, like to use. Then what can you do? Then this is the proper way. Is that the second I use, um, a function of this object, okay? Then you get a second, then you get everything done. So, you get a start time, end time, the object of duration, and then get a second. So everything's fine. Again, I'm come back to my own uh, list code on the 
a block comment and a comment. I will show you here same right. Suppose I want to block some part, then I block it. Thank you. And then I can go to here and then I unblock it. Okay. So that's just the beauty of using Emacs. I just write the code whenever I wish to do to know, for example, like the, the one that I just developed. I set the uh, control alternate semicolon. And then I would uh, first intend this one the way that I will try uh, some time to, to overco uh, overcome this hurdle. And then I can set it very simple. You set the uh, insert the uh, three um, the quotation mark and then uh, go to the end and then go to the mark. And then uh, I just use uh, the concept of mark and point in Emacs for the region, just the beginning and the end region. But indentation really very hard for me because, you know, if it's indented, suppose I did, uh, one is indented, then you cannot just simply add something like this. It doesn't work. You've got an error. So you have to know the indention. Okay. Then it works. Okay. But of course, it's just for, uh, now that I just something sidetracked for that. Uh, actually, for this video itself, it's just to show you how to calculate the elap elapsed time in seconds for two, uh, two events. One is starting of the event and then the end of the event. And it would be useful in, uh, app application development that for knowing the time between two, uh, events. For example, clicking of a button, and then the, the another the next clicking of the, uh, at the next click of the button. Okay, thank you for this sharing of the tips. But maybe after uh, maybe some uh, uh, Python programmer we know it already very well. But uh, I just want to share it and also to make me more impressed of the uh, of this uh, simple method of how to calculate the duration. Okay, thank you for nice day.